And we're live. Good evening. How are we all this evening? Happy Friday. Um, I've just realised I've left my drink over there, but that's okay. <laughs> um, Jessica is filming tonight, so... <laughs> um, so I'm going to do a live demo and a bit of an art journal page using the new fluoro alcohol inks. But before I start, we've had a massive delivery today and just thought I'd go through some of the new things on the website. Um, so all of these items you will find in new for October. No, November. <laughs> so, um, so there we go. So 12 by 12, 300 GSM watercolour paper 10 packs. So this is my, my favourite watercolour paper to use. I've got that back in stock. So that's good. Um, what else? I'm going to go through some tools that have come back in and some new tools. So the Creative Detailer, which is Jennifer Maguire's favourite tool. So that guy's back in stock again. So that is your um, eraser. I think it's a, I haven't used it myself, but everybody else loves it. So um, I have got in stock magnets for mini albums. So they are super strong. I've got the big disc and the small discs and they are available as well. Um, I've got a couple of new items. I've got a little blending tool. This is a little deluxe blending tool. Uh, it comes out of the little handle, comes out with a little brush, so excellent for blending all sorts of different um, inks and things like that. So uh, the alcohol ink blower, which I'm going to play with tonight. Uh, what else have we got in? Got a top up of the Nuvo spoons because uh, everyone knows how much I love those. Um, what else did we get, Jess? We got scissors. Okay, let's talk scissors. So, some little baby scissors, um, not super expensive. So these are ones that you can uh, afford to lose on your desk and then pick up another pair. Um, then the big Tim Holtz shears. So. Lots of people ask me to get these ones in. Um, I've been using them a bit online, so I've got a top up of those. And also the Tim Holtz Haberdashery Shears. So these are slightly different to the red handled ones. So these have got a little less serration, come in a very cool tin, um, which is important. Um, but I... I'm going to open them. I've decided I, I want to set for myself because I don't have a fine pair. But they have got... Like, how nice are these babies? So, although they're haberdashery, I think they're going to be beautiful for fussy cutting. So, they are available as well online. So, we just had a question. Yep. Are you going to be getting in the new Dialusion stamps? And if so, when? Um, I think I've got them on order. The new Dilution stencils, I've got, I think, all of those coming in in the next few days. Um, maybe Monday, Tuesday, hopefully. So, and the stamps, I have to look in to see when they're coming. So, yes, I will look into that for you. Uh, I got a little piercing tool called the prick. Because we all need a prick <laughs> in our lives. You knew that was coming, didn't you? Um, what else have we got? Oh, uh, Anti-static pad, a couple of people have been asking me for these, so this is for your uh, help with the heat embossing. Uh, some new adhesives as well. So I've got the Expressit 2-in-1 glue. So this is this has got a little brush as well as the fine tip. Really excellent for dyes. Uh, I also got in stock some Australian brands, so foam squares and foam circles. From uniquely creative as well as these guys here so these are full five by seven sheets of foam tape so with this you can die cut it you can do all sorts um, so I've got a black and a white and these are quite inexpensive as well so really really handy if you're wanting to stick your paper on run it through your die cutting machine um, yeah so that you can ra raise up your dies all right, the Nouveau Craft Mats. This is what I will be using tonight to do all my alcohol ink on. So most of you have seen me using this on all my live Facebooks. Back in stock. 
Um, the brush water well, the brush well, I think it's called, they are back in. These are, um, hold all your paint brushes and water, your dirty paint water, keeps it nice and stable on your desk. Very handy to have. What else have we got? A couple more tins. So the alcohol ink storage tin from Ranger, they are back in stock, as well as the distress ink or ink pad tins. Um, so they hold 15 Distress Inks, so that's excellent. We also have the Couture Creations alcohol ink box back we in stock. We do. We have got the Couture Creations alcohol ink suitcase baggy thing. So I'll be using mine tonight and I'll show you how all of that works as well. What else is in stock? Um, okay. We've got scribble sticks back in again, um, set one and set two. I did have set three, uh, but they sold out on the first day that they came in. Um, Vicky Boot and Crayons have come back in stock. So, speaking of Vicky, <laughs> right at the bottom here, I have got Storyteller 12 by 12 pads. So, just walked through the door and this is her newest collection highly sought after so they have come in uh 26 dollars i believe so uh vicky boot product there you go alcohol lift ink that's come back in stock again um unicorn which is the white hero arts ink this is the refill so i got some of those um, what do we got? Okay, let's talk dyes. Yep, let's talk dyes. So, <laughs> Sizzix, the little houses. So, these create a paper village. Tim Holtz um, recently demoed these, so they've come in. Closely followed by the new leaf print uh, dyes. So, these are the thinlets. They've come in stock. Um... Art by Marlene, so she's bought in two journal cutting dies. So a lot of you have seen some of these around um, through advertising and they make beautiful little mini albums. So definitely a die that's got more than one purpose. So both of these dies have got multiple. So this one has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine dies in it. And this one has got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about the same, another nine or ten dies. So fantastic value for money with those ones. Uh, top up of Tim Holtz. So I've got the Snarky Small Talk, uh, which is everybody's favourite. It speaks to my soul. And the Normal Small Talk, plus I've also got the Big Talk and a couple of other ones as well available. Uh, art by Marlene, so I've got the little tag kit in, uh, so this makes a little tag mini album, it's got the tape in it, it's got a die, so that's a die to do the um, edge as well, so that's fantastic, and the little tag book, so that's in stock. The Art by Marlene journal, I've got those and I'll be using one tonight, I'm going to crack one open and give it a go, and a top up of the Artsy Arabia die cut elements they've come in. All right, so I'm just making a nice big mess here. Uh, Yupo paper, black Yupo, white Yupo, transparent Yupo, and the new adhesive Yupo. So this one is fantastic if you're wanting to create a page with alcohol inks and then stick it in your art journal. Excellent. Uh, okay. Stamps. So the foam, Tim Holtz foam stamps. So these are individual alphabets, as you can see. And I'm going to use these tonight on my art journal page that I'm going to create. Show you how easy they are to use. Um, what else have we got here? Okay, some Australian uniquely creative. So we've got some of these little babies here. These are only two dollars eighty each. So. Their brand new design as well, which has just been released, which is this guy. Thanks, Jess. <laughs> and then I've got this one, which is new to me, but not new to Uniquely Creative. So 
They are only $2.80 each, like total bargain. Um, also from Uniquely Creative, this one has been released for this month. This one is called Floral Bunch. And then I've got a top up of the Creative Quotes because I love these. So they're quite inexpensive as well. Um, I love this one as well. Oh, look, I love this. I love that. Sorry. Um, Concord and North. So this is a really, I haven't had this brand in before, but these, these phrases I thought were really great and excellent for art journaling. And also got in two from Art by Marlene. Uh, this is the new one from her Artsy Arabia. And this is the Craftiness is Happiness, which is the Mariposas. The, the Mariposas. So um, they have come back into stock and have been hugely popular. All right, so that's that pile done. Um, Uniquely Creative also bought out some little title stickers too. So I thought these are fantastic for scrapbook pages and art journal pages. So I got some of those in. They're a gold glitter. Um, a top up of Dina Wakeley stencils. Some of the more popular ones. So uh, Big Squabbles, the Leafy and the Shape Mashup. They've come in. 49 and market. 49 and market. Okay. Brand new, just released. I have had this on order since I got a sneak peek of it a few months ago. So this is called the Wedgwood, Vintage Artistry Wedgwood. Um, this is gorgeous. So let's have a look at that. They are rub-ons. So beautiful. I can't wait to use these. I think they're going to be absolutely gorgeous. And then these are the Vintage Wedgwood Ephemera Stacks. So these have got 34 pieces in it. Um, fantastic for building pages. Really, really easy. Also, the washi strips came in. The stamps. And my personal favourite, the embellishments. So these are layered embellishments. Sorry, have you got glare there, Jess? No, it's all right. Oh, I'm right. Working, out, cool. working around it. So super easy and they're all foam mounted. Really, really great to use on pages. Um, then this one is called Everyday Ephemera. So this is more of a neutral, a neutral set. And just to show you on the back. So you'll find those on the webpage, um, nataliemay.com.au. And have a look under 49 and mark it. And you'll find under that heading... The two, two new collections at the top. Um, so this, these are the rub-ons here as well. Um, for those of you who like to make mini albums, this is the folio kit. So this gives you the instructions and the template to create this cool little flippy book thing. Um, oh, Dina Wakeley. Okay. Dina Wakeley media tags. So these are the tags that she uses on all of her live Facebooks. So there's 50 in this pack and 50 in this pack. So the number 10 and the number 8. To give you an idea on how big they are, mm. I will put them next to the Dina Wakeley stencil and you can see. So that's the small size and the big size is pretty much the same size as the stencil. So Same length. Same length. So they are huge. So a 50 pack, super, super cheap. Um, oh, albums. Do any of you still use albums or do they just, all your layouts get thrown in cardboard boxes like mine? <laughs> I, I won't look up there. <laughs> no, I don't do that. So I've only got the two in and I'm going to be ordering in some more colours very soon. Um, so I just got a pink and a blue to start with, but these colours are divine. So they come with five sleeves and they are a leather album. So they're not bad at all. And last but not least, I think, it's the last thing. It is? Yep. Um, chipboard. So I've got a big restock of the Celebrate chipboard. So these have got a really low pr price point. Um, fantastic embellishment for cards, journals, all sorts of bits and pieces. A few different sizes available. So I really like ones like this where you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten elements there at a really low cost. And you can ink them, you can paint them, you can do heaps. Um, well. <laughs> sorry, Jess. So, we go so around some really fantastic embellishments. So make sure you have a look under the chipboard heading 
you'll find heaps of different things there to suit all sorts. So simple chipboard borders, excellent for masculine pages. Um, I think these are great. I love those. Little travel ones there. So plenty, plenty of options. And then you've got the tall skinny ones, including some backgrounds as well as some alphabets. So fantastic. All right, so all of this cool stuff you can find under new for November on nataliemay.com.au. Um, so let's talk about the new fluoro alcohol inks. So I'm going to go around to my desk and we're going to just, if you get seasick, just look away because I'm just going to pop this in the holder and hope that you're not, sorry guys, there's my boobs. <laughs> there we go. Pop that into there. Just go and turn the light off for me, please. And, I'm going to disappear. and Jessica's going to disappear. Let me just pop this in here, straighten it up. Can you all see me still? Everybody's still there? Just turn the tablet on. Bye, just... everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jess. That's all, right. all right, let me just make sure that this camera is properly in the holder so that it doesn't drop out halfway through filming because that's not ideal. Righty oh. All right, so this week I got my hands on the new alcohol inks. Oh, why is my. Sorry guys, won't be a sec. I'm just making, uh, just getting the tablet working so that I can see all of your comments and make sure that um, I can see that people are actually watching me and I'm not just talking to myself because I've got a teenager and you know, I can do that anytime. Oh, for goodness sake, what is going on here? There we go. All right, drink. All right, so now my tablet's not working, so I can't see the questions. All righty, so the new alcohol inks have come in and they are the new fluoros. So I'm just going to, while I'm fluffing around trying to get this tablet working, get them all out here and I've swatched a couple. There we go. Oh, look, I can see myself. That's a bit there sad. Go. Oh, gosh, and I can hear myself. Let me turn that down. There we go. All right. Comments up. Comments on. Hello, Vicky, Beryl. Oh, so now I can see because I'm on this side of the camera. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to plug in my phone because that'll be the first thing to die. There we go. And we're back. All right, so new alcohol inks. Um... I was a bit scared of these. I was a bit freaked out. Oh, and this is the other thing that I got in that was new. And you're going to just see glare. I apologise for that. This is the alcohol ink desk holder. So the bottles just fit in there and that holds 30. Um, so, uh, yeah, $15.30 I think they are. So they're quite inexpensive as well. Um, all right. So I swatched up a storm. Because the colours on the website just don't do it justice. Um, so we have got the purple, which everyone knows how much I love purple, but I actually quite like that. That's that's really, really nice. Um, yeah, I do like that. This one is burnt orange. So I want to show you what the differences are between the oranges as well. Because when I first looked at them, I went, oh, orange, burnt orange. Do I need them all? Yep, apparently I do. Um, so burnt orange, which is that one. Then the yellow is like mind blowing. That's gonna hurt your eyes. And that is just super duper bright on, on the white. Uh, this one is the fluoro orange. So you can actually see that there is quite a and I'm going to bring them up to camera with my wrinkly hands. Um, and you can see that there is quite a difference between those. So, um, so that is the orange. 
So what I will do tomorrow in daylight is take some photos and upload it to the website so that you can see what the colours look like um, as well from my swatches. Um, hot pink. Green. The green's really nice. Uh, red is this one here. So that is your fluoro red. And this one is called Flamingo. And it is your hot pink. Um, the difference between these two is that the red is a lot deeper. All right. And then the blue is like a real royal blue. Really, really pretty. So they are all in. Um, the only, I haven't opened, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The only one that I haven't opened is the white. The only reason I haven't opened the white, which is a bright white, the reason I haven't opened it is because I've already got in my personal stash um, a white and I just didn't feel the need to open yet another one. So um, that is what your swatches look like. Um, they all need to be really shaken before you use them, but otherwise you get that little bit of sediment on the bottom. Um, so that's really important. Um, so I'm going to pop that off to the side and pop those up there. Um, so this is the, the case. This is the uh, Couture Creations case that has come back into stock as well. Um, I've got heaps of these in, so... Um, they're fantastic. So they hold, I think, 60 colours. And here's my little swatch thing that I do. Um, but then they've also got the pocket at the top here. So my pocket at the top has got a few little bits and pieces um, like that. And some other things I've been playing with and my little samples. So um, excellent carry case and everything fits in there really quite nicely. I kind of figure that when I've got um, more than 60, A, I need to stop, <laughs> and B, I'll just take this bit out and just dump them all in here. So you get the drift. All right, enough talking. Let's make something. Um, so what I want to do tonight is I want to do an art journal page. I want to incorporate the fluoros somehow in an art journal page. Uh, absolutely no idea what I'm going to do, but I might just have a play with the colours first. Um, so I'm just going to cut some white Yupo down to be 6x4. Uh, and as I've talked about before, we all know that you have to use Yupo paper, which is your synthetic plastic paper. Because alcohol inks are going to... Um, they're going to soak into anything straight away. So you need to make sure that you... Oh, hi, Trace. Um, you need to make sure that they are... That you're working on a surface that is slick. So that's why I like to use Yupo. Um, and white Yupo is my favourite to work on. So I'm just going to start shaking some of these and then I'm going to take all my lids off because I find it... I work much more confidently if my lids are off. Oh, whoops. Um, and for those of you playing along at home, and I do know that there's a couple of you playing the Natalie May, how many times can she swear in a live Facebook game? Um, I'm going to try not to swear tonight, okay? No promises. But I do know that, and I have had a message from more than one of you that you think it's funny that I'm so normal and I may accidentally swear. So if you're offended by bad language, um, I don't do it on purpose. Well, like I sometimes do, but you know, I'm only human. All right. So I have got my inks open, ready to go. I've also got my blending solution. So this is really important because I need to make sure that I have got something for the alcohol inks to move around on. 
it is going to move really nicely with um, the blending solution. Um, I've also got my heat tool here as well and I'm going to open up the ink blower. So the ink blower is just a squeezy tube but it blows out air to help move your ink around the project. All right, so I'm just gonna crack into it and I'm going to just do a few little dobs around the place and start having a bit of a play. So I've got some burnt orange. And I'm gonna go in with some hot pink. Uh, these are gorgeous to play with. And if you have any questions, ask away. I can kind of see the comments coming up. Um, I'm just gonna move this around the page. And I don't wanna, with this one, I'm just gonna go in nice and light. And now I'm gonna add some yellow. But you can see a little bit goes a really, really long way. And they are super bright as well. Hey Jacinta, how are you doing Dad? You good? I see you sneaking in there. Um, all right. So I love that they do stay nice and bright and that's what's really important to me, I think. I didn't want it to lose color. I didn't want it to over blend. And I'm really, really happy with that. Yeah, see, like, fluoro is a total 80s thing for me. I love fluoros. Um, I've always used fluoros on my art journal pages. Uh, I think that, for me, I, I just love the punch that they give. Um, but they can be a little scary. So <laughs> I was slightly freaked out when I ordered them and went, oh, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to need these. I won't need to open any at all. Yeah, see, that didn't work, did it? Um, okay, so I'm going to go with the different colours this time. I've got some blue here. Blue. The dreaded purple that I loathe. And flamingo. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to use a heat tool this time to blow this around. So if you're using a heat tool, you don't want to give it too much heat because you don't want it to melt your synthetic paper. But you want to give it enough oops, that it is assisting in the drying. And like I've said before, what I love is that it creates these gorgeous lines. So I, I think they're gorgeous. Look at that. Really nice. So that is the... Flamingo, the blue and the dreaded purple. Yes, I am hoping that I will have more back in stock, Tracy. So this time I'm going to be a lot more generous with my blending solution. And oh, I don't want to do it, but I'm going to go for green. Green's pretty full on. Um, so I need to, with the green, of course, be aware you don't want to mix, um, you don't want to mix green and orange because they're just going to turn to mud and Tina, yes, I've got you girl. Um, so for those of you reading the comments, um, what's happening next weekend here in Adelaide is that finally... The retreat is happening. So I have my Scrap Chat, Rela uh, Scrap Chat Relax Retreat hip happening here in Adelaide or in sunny Victor Harbour, just out of Adelaide next weekend. Um, and cannot wait. So it is currently booked out. Um, not that any of you can really make it across the border into South Australia, but you know the drill. So I'm being very careful on where my, my red goes, not to mix it too much with my green. And I'm just using the little ink blower, 
giving it a bit of a a poof around the page poof a poof around the page I feel the need to add more oh like that Right. I'm keeping that away from my green. I've gone a bit muddy in this area here. I don't love that, but I'm just going to let that sit and dry and do its thing. You know what? Let's hit it with the heat gun. Let's do that. So hopefully if the world returns to normal next year, 2021, will be a good year, won't it, guys? Um, I will be able to open the retreat up to a few interstate guests, which will be fantastic. And I have just made some inquiries about getting a bigger venue, which pleases everybody. So, um, yeah, loving that. All right, so this time I'm going to, I don't know, let's keep, I'm just giving it a good squirt of that um, blending solution. And, oh, I don't know, let's go in with hot pink that I started with. Oh, that's so pretty. And I might use orange instead. So the last time I did um, more of a, did the burnt orange with the pink. Hello, Renee. I see you. And I'm going to use the heat gun to move this around. Hey, Rosie. Welcome, darling. Happy Friday. Bring it on. So, oh, look at that. That's cool. So when you're using alcohol inks, it's about making decisive movements as well. That's, that's really important. I think if you let it sit and dry, then of course it's not going to, it's not going to work well. You're not going to get a great finish. You need to move it around being you know you don't need want to, you don't want to use your colors too sparingly either you kind of need to be a little generous with them to get something that is quite relaxed and that's the look that I'm going for I'm not going for a a perfect finish I want something abstract and arty rather than a perfect you know than than a perfect finish so That's really nice. So I'm going to do one more in the blue and the purple because I need a bit of balance. And I've run out of alcohol out of the Yupo paper, of course. So how's everybody's day been? Has anyone done anything exciting today? Oh, hello, Robin. Tina, you'll be fine on the weekend, darling. It's lots of sitting around, doing your own thing, relaxing, chatting. I'm sitting, you, I've sat you with um, some really, really horrible people. No, not really. I've actually sat you with two of my very favourite people, but I'm not going to tell you who they are because that's playing favourites and is just weird and awkward and... I can't take that back since it's live. Um, mosaicing, Christina, that sounds awesome. That is definitely not something that I know anything about. And that's not the colour that I wanted to pick up then. There, but let's commit to it. So I'm just doing a couple of drops, moving it around with the air blower for balance. And now I'm going to pop some of this red in the middle. And it's kind of just sitting on top, actually. It's giving a really, I want to say like a, a jellyfish sort of look. Jellyfish isn't quite right. 
Um, so yeah, I'm loving that the, um, just while I'm doing this, I'll talk about some of those really cool things that came in. The Vicky Booten Storyteller paper. So for those of you who are familiar with what's going on with Vicky, um, there's been major, major delays in getting hold of embellishments and stock from American Crafts, unfortunately. Um, and I know as much as you guys do, um, unfortunately the classes are not, or well, the class will be happening soon. Um, and I need to speak to Vicky about the ins and outs of what happens with that. So please be patient with that because I know as much as everybody else does. I've been getting some lovely emails. I've been getting some not lovely emails. Um, I've been getting quite a mix of everything coming through. So um, if you have any questions, please just send me an email if you have pre-purchased a kit. Um, but I will make it happen for you the best that I can. Um, when I can. All right, so I'm just going to hit this with the heat gun to dry it off because I've got a lot of liquid going on here. And I've mixed a lot of colours here, so it's kind of gone a little muddy in this area. But pushing it off the edge with my heat gun is not so bad. So the fluoros are gorgeous. Um, naturally, they are going to be super duper bright. They do work exactly the same as all of the other inks, um, the, all the other alcohol inks, but I really, really love how these have finished up. And you can see that, I mean, most of you have been playing with alcohol inks already. And you know that a little bit goes a really, really long way. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do with them. Put some ideas in your head before I turn this into an art journal page. Gosh, that green is so vibrant. So normally um, when I'm creating, I would normally allow these to sit and air dry. Um, I like the way that they air dry. I take most of the, most of the liquid off and move it around um, with the heat tool and then just let the balance of it air dry and the alcohol evaporates, leaving the beautiful colour on the page. So, oh, that's better. Um, let me get these babies out of the way standing up so they don't fall over and then I'm going to bring these up to camera to show you some of this beautiful detail super punchy look at that all right and that one that one's not even close to dry I don't quite know what I was thinking there So I'll show you, I'll grab a couple of other of my pre-done alcohol ink backgrounds just to show you how amazing they look and what the difference in colour is um, because it's quite funny because I'm looking at them now and I'm thinking, you know what, they're kind of nice. They're not actually that bright, but... But when I put them next to... When I put them next to some of the others now that I've done before, so this is just using the standard alcohol inks with just some stamping over the top that I've been having a bit of a play with, you can see that, that you know, you've got something here that is super bright. Let's find something here in my stash in an orange. There's another pink. See, I thought that was beautiful and bright and vibrant earlier. No. And I thought that was gorgeous and bright and punchy earlier. Um, yes, Sally, I sure will. But when you put it next to that green, it's got nothing on it. <laughs> um, 
I can't guarantee that every colour is going to be left Sally, just FYI. What else have I got here? Yeah, I thought that was gorgeous and bright before um, compared to that. Big, big difference. They are just gorgeous. So, you know, this is using a bright, a hot pink, perhaps a mulberry that I've got in my stash and, um, and a yellow compared to that. Lovely. Um, what else have we got? Oh, here's that. Oops, sorry. There's a beautiful purple. with a blue so they are really really pretty okay let's get rid of those so what can you do with these um anything anything at all it is completely up to you so you can die cut them you can use them as i mean these would make fantastic cards for teens these backgrounds um teenagers can be notoriously difficult in more than one way um I've got some of these beautiful scrap effects silhouettes here. So I'm just going to open a couple of these just to show you how amazing they look on top of on top of the um, alcohol inks. So they are a gorgeous black cutout. Like black border around there would look amazing. Look at that. On there so that's that's an option um, then there is this gorgeous one here called learning to fly let me show you this one so the scrap effects silhouettes are exactly that they are just super fine cutouts the silhouettes so this one's called learning to fly look at that that's so pretty I think I like it best on the on the oranges, so they're really great. Um, then this is one of the um, this is called the Mindful Woman. Now, even though that's in plastic, I'm not going to take any more out of the plastic. You can kind of there you go. You can see it without any reflection. You can see how amazing that would look just as a black cutout on top. Um, Whoops, try and do it without the reflection. There we go. So you get the idea. So that, that would look amazing on that one as well. Oh, now I've got it on the packet. There we go. Um, this amazing leaf, which you've seen me use on art journal pages. So that's stuck on the top. This come, The leaf comes in a couple of different sizes. Um, then something a little bit more quirky for the art journalers is the Art Nouveau Black Tree, which would make a fantastic cutout as well. So you can see how it's, it's completely up to you on, on what you, how you make them look. They're supposed to be easy. It's supposed to make it easy. Like these scrap effects cutouts um, take all the hard work out of it for you. All right, so what am I going to do? No idea. So the lovely Vicky, who is watching, lovely friend of mine, has been using one of these Art by Marlene journals. And I'm like, no, I like the flat binding, but she's telling me that she loves this. So I'm going to crack open yet another art journal because, you know, I don't already have a shitload open, sorry, a truckload open. Um, so these are, they've got the pre-painted cover. Love that. Oh, it's got a attached um, bindy thingy. Oh, it's got a pocket. Ooh. And so the pages are removable. So this size is, I don't even know. Let's get a ruler. 
The size of these pages is, I don't know, six and a six and three quarters. That's a weird size. By nine and a half ish. 17 centimetres by 23 and a half centimetres. So they're actually quite a nice size page. So I'm going to use this tonight. And I'm going to do that. So I've got a heap of these journals in stock. Um, so I'm going to take advice from Vicky and use this. So what am I going to do with them? So th they're so bright and they're so punchy. Um, maybe I will use some stamps and I'm going to stamp onto these instead. So I've got a few different Dina Wakeley stamps here. Um, And I am genuinely winging it here, so just bear with me while you watch my brain try and work. Sorry about that. Um, so my, my thinking, and I'm looking at this going, okay, this is all nice, but yeah, like I said, it's there's a lot, a lot going on with these. So I'm gonna pop a bit of gesso down on here. God, I didn't even get any water. Where's Jessica gone? Jess? Nope, she's gone to have a shower. Sorry, guys. Bear with me. And now we have water. Sorry about that. Um... Gonna pop a bit of gesso down because I'm like I said, I'm really unsure about what I'm gonna do. Um, just use my big Dina brush just to get a bit of gesso down on the surface. So um, for so for those of you playing along at home, of course, gesso is a sealer and it's an undercoat. So it is going to seal my paper for whatever I decide to put on top because I haven't decided yet, that is going to do the job for me. Um, so white Liquitex Gesso is my favourite to use, but I, all of the other brands that I stock, where am I going to put that so I don't knock it over? Um, all the other brands that I stock online are, of course, ones that I recommend. I wouldn't sell something if I haven't personally used it myself, because that is not how I roll. So I've got my white background just drying there. So I really, I'm thinking I want to stamp something on here. So these are the little figurines. I might use those. All right. I might do a couple of pages. That's a bit of an idea. Has anyone got anything else to do tonight? Because I don't. All right. So I'm going to use my stamp press. So the reason I'm going to use my stamp press is because on alcohol ink paper, I want to make sure that I'm getting a really nice finish. So I want to, sometimes, <laughs> thanks Deb, um, sometimes I, it, it doesn't stamp beautifully. So if I do, I'm going to do a couple. If I do it on my stamp press, I can stamp in the same place a couple of times, okay? So that is the thinking there. So I've got my magnet to hold my Yupo paper in place. And now I can ink my, oh, that's, I did, did I mention I've got these back in stock? I might have forgotten. Um, this size and the jumbo size are back in stock. So the jumbo size I use all of the time and the little baby one is fantastic for doing this. So I can't remember if this is super inky or not. I don't know when I re-inked it last. It 
It's not bad, but I'm going to do it again because I want it really black. I want it super uber black. So now they are nice, super uber black. And I'm just going to pop them aside to dry and do a couple more because I want to do some different figurines. Um, because I don't have a plan. Because that would have been too easy. So because this is black archival ink, it comes out nice and sharp. Um, but also because it is black archival ink and it is oil based, it means that I need to heat set it very quickly just before I start cutting with it. Otherwise it will smudge. Oh, I didn't put my magnet on there. Oh, did it move? Shit, it did. All right, but that's okay. It's not too bad. I'm I'm okay with that. I don't I don't hate it. Um, and no, I haven't cleaned my stamps because I'm lazy. Just baby wipe it, and I'll do these last two as well. Don't, I'm not loving that green. It's not rocking my world. But that's just me and, and green. So um, it's kind of right up there with me and purple. All right, straight on. So yeah, the, the stamp press enables me to stamp in exactly the same place a couple of times. Um, hey, Amanda. Yeah, sorry, baby. Came in a fraction late on that. I don't think you missed anything. I'm just having a bit of a play now. Um, but they do, they just dry up beautifully. They almost have a bit of a matte finish. Um compared to normal alcohol inks that can can have a little bit more of a glossy finish i do love the matte finish so that's come up nice I didn't get that. oh could you try again no i'm not talking to you siri stop it does anybody else has got an apple watch that siri just starts randomly talking back hey catherine Oh, you're so late, love. No, you're fine. You're fine. I'm just fluffing around now, honey. It's no big drama. I haven't um, really, really 100% decided exactly what I'm doing. So um, it's all a bit of a surprise for everyone here at the moment. Um, I've also got this one here. I figure, hey, you know what? I'm stamping, so I might as well add this one in here as well. Um... Michelle, the difference between archival and stays on ink. A um, couple of things, personal preference. I've talked about it a bit before. Um, stays, they both do the same thing. So they're both an oil-based ink and stays on has recently been shown to eat away at clear stamps. So if you are someone who uses lots of clear acrylic or polymer stamps, don't use stays on. They may have changed their formula. I may be totally wrong on this. Um, but a couple of years ago, it was shown that when, when clear stamps first became popular, 
it was shown that they start eating away at the plastic. So, black archival ink, which is my favourite. Oh, perfect. Um, won't. So, keep your stays on for red rubber, perhaps. Um, but use your... Use your, sorry, um, use your black archival ink for, um, for, for clear stamps. Sorry, I'm multitasking badly here tonight. So, yeah, look, I mean, it's, it's personal preference. The difference between stays on, they're both oil based, they're both lovely, crisp, they're both permanent. Um, once you heat set them, but the difference is um, stays on has been known to eat away at clear stamps, but work beautifully with rubber. Archival ink is the one that just works with everything, works great all of the time. For me, um, I don't own a stays on ink pad anymore. I have got rid of all of mine uh, just because I like one ink pad that does the lot. So... I guess that's the best way to, to describe it. So you can see how that's done a nice crisp just by stamping twice is get, making it nice and black. Um, all right. Again, still have no real plan here. Pop that aside. Add that to the pile of mess to clean up tomorrow. All right. So I've got my Art by Marlene page here which is still a little damp. Um, someone asked the question the other day, what happens if you put alcohol ink on plain card? Um, do, you want to, do you want me to show you what happens with that? Yes is the answer. So I've just got a, a shamrock here um, and what's going to happen, I'll bring it up to camera, it just soaks right in, okay, and it's not really having much movement, okay. There's still a little bit of a puddle on top, it's gone straight through, it's got very, very, it's still a bit of a, you know puddle there but if I put down the blending solution first that's soaked right in that's soaked right in it's lacking that movement all right so there's not a whole lot going on there so that's where the Upo paper allows the um the color to sit and move around to create those really lovely backgrounds okay so that's just soaked right in, gone all the way through. I mean, you can see where the um, blending solution was. And as you can see, it's just on Kay's card. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty simple. Okay, so what I'm thinking I might do is cut out these figures and create a little movement of people going across. Um, add some stamping in the background maybe. That's a good idea. I'm going to use my We All Make Choices stamp that I designed. Do I want to add some colour or do I just want to put this straight on white? Oh, Michelle, these are freaking brilliant, love. Look at that. Mind blown. Um, all right. It probably does need a little bit of colour, doesn't it? So let's go for something really subtle with colour. Let's go for some Lindy's Magicals on the background, okay? So, um, I'm coming, hang on. Just trying to find the green. Can't 
first world problems when you've got too many Lindy's to choose from, right? All right. So the Lindy's Magicals, as most of you know, I have been working with Lindy's for a few years. And these are the pigment dye-based powders. So the pigment means that they are full of colour. The dye means that they are permanent and the powder means that you have to activate it. Um, the Lindy's powders are designed to work with anything. The only thing that they are not designed for is they're not, to de not designed to be added into a spray bottle, for example, because they have a fixative in it that will clog up the nozzle and make you swear like a truck driver. So you don't want that. So that's why Lindy's do sprays as well as, um, as, as these magical powders. So these are the shakers. These retail for just around $8 each. I'm putting a super tiny amount on. I mean, you can barely see it. There you go. Um, you can barely see it, but I'm just gonna activate that powder with water. So this is the Lederhausen Laurel, which is a gorgeous green. And what's happening is the powder is activating on the gesso. I'm going to then add a little bit of time travel teal. In a few spots around the page. I'm going to grab a paintbrush now and not dipping it into there. So just a wet brush. Would have been great if it was a clean brush, but you know. And I'm just going to have a bit of a play with moving some of this colour around to create something a little bit different in my background, almost like a little watercolour sort of effect. All right. In fact, I'm going to pick it up and give it a bit of a tilt. And that's working better than the brush. And when I get to a spot I want, I'm after a really pale background because I've got so much colour going on with my fluoros. Zero patience. Beautiful. All right. So I'm going to put that aside to dry for a couple of minutes and I'm going to um, heat set these guys. So a good heat gun is a very good investment tool. I've got a couple of different ones available online. I've got the Couture Creations one, which is the Australian brand, um, which is fantastic. And then I also have the Ranger Heat Tool. Now, when you buy the Ranger Heat Tool, it is the small little handheld one, but you need to be aware that you need to get a conversion plug for it because then it has a European plug on it. It will not plug into your Australian PowerPoint, but it is a different heat gun. It is. It's my favourite one to use, but I broke mine. All right. That's really hot. Oh. Um, a pair of scissors would be splendid. All right. So I'm just going to cut these out really quickly while you just chat amongst yourselves. So yes, it has been a super busy week in here getting ready for um, for our, our local little retreat here next weekend. Um, and I can't wait. I can't wait for, um, oh look, I've got a spammer. Um, I can't wait to have a weekend away of creating and hanging out with some of my favorite people. Um, 
I might do this big one first because I don't really know. Like I said, I haven't really got a, um, a bit of a, I haven't got an idea what I'm doing here. I just knew that I wanted to stamp some of these gorgeous figures over the top. Most of us have got some stamps in our collection. There's no reason why you can't stamp over the top of alcohol inks. Um, you just need to do it a couple of times to get a nice crisp finish and make sure that you've got a juicy, juicy, juicy ink. <laughs> and juicy, juicy ink pad. Um, Jacinta, I would love to have you come to my retreat, sweetheart. Like I said, I mentioned before, I am trying to, um, I'm, I'm looking at sourcing a bigger, a larger venue so that I can have um, my maximum for COVID this year requirements is 63, but the room comfortably holds 45. So um, we've got a nice little group this year um, and... I'm teaching one class and I may do a little alcohol ink demo. Um, Nat, did you only heat set the black ink? Um, Tracy, I, I, I let the alcohol ink dry on the UPO. Some of it I heat set, some of it I um, allowed to air dry. Um, you don't have to heat set alcohol ink. Alcohol ink, of course, is um, the alcohol evaporates, leaving the alcohol help, helps it move around on the um, synthetic paper, right? So the alcohol will evaporate because alcohol is, I think it's, it's like a thin. Who's the scientist in the room? There's got to be one of the 50, 60 of you that are a scientist, surely. So, but the alcohol evaporates, leaving the colour on the page, right? So, the heat gun just speeds up the drying time because I have zero patience. Um, but the black ink, I, I did heat set because it is oil-based and I knew that it would have rubbed off on my fingers, okay? So, that is why I heat set the, um, the ink. But I stamped it onto a dry background first okay I thought that was super important um, no um, I was joking about asking you asking you to be scientific on a Friday night heck no my brain's fried I've had a week of I did get a little creating done this week which was really really nice um, I spent the week working on the computer um yeah set it tracy you'll find it all ink better but um yeah way too much time on the computer this week on the website not enough time creating um which is what i would love to have done but i did do my layouts for retreat that we are um, working with ab studios papers and some ab studios chipboard doing a really pretty layout and hopefully um, after retreat there will be some kits available which I will put online and they are two single pages very very slight mixed media but lots of fussy cutting um, so and that will be a $45 kit but it does include a stencil um, an A4 thing of chipboard etc but they won't be available till next week so you have to hold your horses on that one a little bit um, all right, nearly there, guys. Thank you for your patience. But yeah, if you heat set your images, then you won't get any smudging because the UPO paper, of course, is, is slick. It is, um, it's got movement to it, so it's going to naturally smudge if you don't, if you're not accurate. So I also find that the stamp press really really helps um definitely helps so then you can stamp two or three times in exactly the same place if you don't get something nice and sharp i'm over the moon that these are really really nice crisp sharp images 
makes all of the difference. All right. Oh, gosh. So I've got these little guys now. And they look pretty awesome. All right, that's still wet. I need to dry that off. Oh, my freaking heat gun's overheated again. I'm not having any luck with heat guns at the moment. All right. Go and have a drink break. Give yourself a second because this is going to take us, uh, it won't take long, but it's a bit noisy. So I'm bringing out the paint stripper, which I don't do very often because it is super hot. And I'm doing it just off camera because it is freaking hot, like epically hot. So I don't want to... If I burn myself, you don't actually need to see it. Radio. And that is so hot that I have to go and put it somewhere off over there because I've burnt myself on it way too many times. All right, so here's my background. So you can see that it is really quite faint, which is exactly what I was after. So I use the magicals on the background so that it is lovely and faint. Um, I'm now going to use my grass stamp um the hand seno um and i'm going to so this is one of the stamps that i hand drew one of my designs and I'm giving it a nice juicy stamp. I'm gonna go in the middle. Oh, love that. So, uh, Stefan, are you watching tonight, darling? I've missed you. Where are you, darling? Where's my, my live Facebook shout out to my favorite person? He said he was going to pop in and watch. Oh, now Siri's talking to me. There we go. All right. So I really like that I've got that nice grass that goes all the way across my page. Okay. So that's using the, I don't know, which one was it? See if I can just find one more thing to put down on my desk and make a massive mess here. Don't want to throw any of these bits out. They're so pretty. So I'm going to put a bit of a frame around this page and start thinking about how I'm going to, what I'm going to be doing with it here. Um, I've cut out all, all of these lovely little people. Uh, this is the Art by Marlene art journal page that it's going to go into the binder because Vicky told me it's a fabulous journal to work in. So I believe her. Because that's how I roll. 
Um, so let's have a bit of a play here. I love that, but I don't think that it's perfect. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to start placing them and layering them in and around here. So I've got four orange. I've got my, my cute little cat face in there. Let's see what else I've got in my little bag of tricks here. So this is the um, Buds of May stamp. So I'm just going to add a few little elements in the background. So I'm not worried about them not connecting down here because I'm going to layer my people in this area, okay? So that will do just fine. I've just remembered I haven't put my lids on my alcohol ink. extending my stems so if I do have any connection there they're not going to look like they're floating around too much um, okay This one's really dark, so I don't want that one at the front. I want it to disappear into the background a little. I want this purple one sitting towards the forefront because it is much, much stronger. And probably this one as well will go next to it with these guys in the background. So how am I going to stick them down? I'm going to use a little gel medium. And a brush. having one of those overthinking it days I think so gel medium is, is going to be good adhesive for this so because I'm working on the Yupo I want something that is pretty strong and it's going to stay in place so naturally Yupo is going to be the go-to for the alcohol ink and gel medium is going to be my adhesive of choice Thinking this one's a bit too strong, okay? So I'm going to pop that off to the side. So that's going to stick over the top like that. So 
Sorry, I'm having trouble coordinating my brain and my hands and my thought process and where I'm going with this because um, because it's Friday. Mostly because it's Friday. I had one gin and tonic and it went down like water and I thought, right, do I have another one? And if I had another one, this, this live Facebook could have book, book would have been totally different, I suspect. So I decided to um, just go back for a Pepsi with my oranges in it. Mind you, they're soaked in gin. All right, so I'm kind of going with a little bit of a cluster here. I don't want to go too much. I don't want to add too much more. It does need a bit of balance with some color up the top here. So what I need to do is work out how, how I can get that color up the top, um, some of that fluoro up the top as well. Um, at the moment, I've got no idea, so let's have a bit of a think about what I can do for that. Um, oh, that just hit the deck. Um, okay. So I'm thinking, I know I want to stamp some words across here. I know that that's where I'm heading with that. Um, keeping it simple i'm going to need to create some elements so let's just try this first and cut some little scallops and try this sort of look um which i don't love but it might just work just Some little strips. I need some more of this purple, so I need to find my off cut with the purple. Does everybody, anybody else get their, um, look at their Facebook memories that comes up? Um, like every morning if I'm laying in bed on flicking through my phone, I get Facebook memories come up showing me what I was doing, you know, a million years ago, or whatever it was. Um, this week, and I don't know how many years ago it actually was um, because I can't remember, but I was teaching in Clare at a very, very cool little scrapbook shop that the lovely Tammy Klinger used to own. And Emma Zapponi, Zapponi, I can never say her right, her surname right. I'm sorry, Em. Um, Emma was teaching there, and Vicky Christensen, who owns um, Scrap Matrix, um, another amazing local Adelaide online store. Um, we were all together at, at their store, so um, that was, oh, I reckon it must have been about seven years ago because I think it was just before I got sick because I had hair in all the photos. Um, and it's funny how just time absolutely flies by because I swear that was only just yesterday that we did that. That was just the, I did about three or four teaching um, jobs in, hello, Jill, um, in in Clare here in um, South Australia so um, all right so what I'm doing all right so this has gone a bit curly but I'm going to layer up some color up the top here um, I'm going to because I need to balance out this purple and blue and orange situation that we've got going on here um, because we've got so much bright down here it needs to be a little bit of bright up there for my liking anyway um, so I'm going to put some gel medium down so yeah, it was really cool seeing all these photos come back of um, teaching to this beautiful group of ladies all of those years ago. Which feels like just yesterday. 
because I'm such a spring chicken. More chicken with no spring, I can tell you at the moment. So these bits up here are just using my offcuts from my pre-stamped images from before. So, um, so for those of you who have just tuned in, welcome to watching me make a hot mess here this evening. I'm doing an art journal page. Um, I did a a little um, at the beginning, which I'll save this video so you can go back and watch it. Um, a little bit of a a catch up on some of the new products that came in this week or came in today, um, including. This week, the new, oh, that doesn't line up, um, alcohol inks, the fluorescent alcohol inks. And that's what I'm using here at the moment. So I thought I would have a bit of a play um, and do an art journal page. So I have been creating some backgrounds, doing some stamping and making a bit of a mess. But that's okay. All right, so Vicky, if you're still watching, you need to show me the trick on using these um, art journal pages for the Art by Art, art by Marlene journal. So this is something that's new to me and I'm struggling a little bit. But I appreciate that everybody... What happened to the other bit? Um, everybody, lots of people love this journal um, and... I figured it was about time that I learned how to step out of my comfort zone and try something different. Uh, I cut a long skinny bit. Where did I put it, people? I'm going to have to cut another one out of this colour. Um, so yeah, for me to try something new live on camera, and I do love the size, I just need to try and work out, or if anybody uses... The art by Marlene journals. How do I get the? How do I? I'm seem to be struggling with the curl of the pages. Um, how do I counteract that? What do you think? Help me out here. I need to learn as well. Anyone? I've got a delay here of, of like. 20 seconds or something ridiculous like that. So by the time I've asked the question. Things have to be done in threes, so I need a third thing up here. What colour's that? Orange? Yep, yeah, that'll work. Too long. Cut it off. Cut it off. They should flatten out once they're in the book. Yeah, good point, Dill. It probably will flatten out. It's just me being impatient, I'm sure, because, you know, that's a thing. Um, a lovely creative um, Australian lady by the name of Jen Hall, which most of you may or may not know. Jen has been, um, she's an incredible talent. She's just started designing for um, Art by Marlene and um, has got the most amazing style. Um, I've loved and followed Jen's work for um, a lot of years and have admired and if you need if you want some incredible inspiration go and look up I think she's called Painty Hands um, Jen is is just incredibly awesome and so very very clever um, and an excellent teacher as well so um, if you want to try or see how to use some more Art by Marlene products she is your girl. So the other cool thing about gel medium is it doesn't take very long to dry. 
um, I'm just layering up a few little pretty strips down the bottom here just because and then what I'm going to do is a little black doodling and then stamp some stamp some words all right oops sorry so we're going for a marathon effort tonight here we're up to about an hour and a half guys well done good on you for sticking it out all right so it's all about balance so stick 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 Uh, black pen. Feet be gone. Feet be gone. All right. So my black pen of choice, you could use anything. So I've got a couple here that I'm going to crack out and have a play with. Um, I am a collector of black pens. I have all of the black pens, I can tell you, and then some. Um, I have, I'm a sucker for black pens. Half of them, I don't even know where they came from. Um, but that's fine because I will probably lose it on my desk anyway. But yes, I do love me a black pen. So a black permanent, like a Sharpie or something like that, will go over the top of Yupo really really nicely um you want something that is i'm trying to match my stamping so i don't want to use something too thin i did go i started around the edges with my really thin pilot and now i i, I don't love it i want to go back over with something a little stronger so i'm going to do my frame first and now i'm going to go and add some doodling to these bits. And I'm gonna sneeze, sorry guys. I'm gonna talk myself out of it. So if any, um, anyone around is in Adelaide and would like to pop in tomorrow between 11 and 3, you are more than welcome. Um, I have advertised that I am open to the public between 11 and 3, so um, please don't hesitate to drop on down. Local ladies, you all know my address. I'm not going to give it out live on Facebook. Um, but if you want to come in and have a shop, pop in for a coffee and a chat, I would love to see you all. Um, but it's not till 11. I get home from boxing at about 10.30. So by the time I throw myself in the shower and make myself look half respectable, um, you are more than welcome to come in and shop in person. Um, I do have days where you can come in and shop by appointment. So tomorrow is one of those days. Um, Jessica will be here till mid-afternoon as well and she would love to see you all. Louise has got the day off because she has worked her ass off this week. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Louise is my new staff member. Um, I have needed an extra set of hands here in the studio to do the things. I, I'm not doing as much creating as I want to at the moment um, and needed someone to come and help pack orders and do stuff like that. So um, that is, um, that's what Louise's job is and she comes in and helps me out with um, a little bit of adulting with some of the business stuff. Because um, I'm a creative person, I'm not a business person. Um, so all of this is really new to me. Um, but hey, I'm rocking it. I am kicking goals and learning new stuff every day, which is great. Um, all right. Great, great, great. Okay, so that's made a difference already, that little bit of doodling at the top. Except for that bit there that I missed. Um, 
And I might whack some more down the bottom here. Some big fat bits. Um, so for those of you who have met Louise um, throughout the year, she's been and gone, but she's pretty much here most of the time now. So um, having her around will enable me to do more kits and do more live Facebooks and show you more, more stuff for free on the interwebs. <sighs> Love that. What do you reckon? Do I need to colour these guys? Yes, is the answer. I've got my Pilot Pintor pen. Oh, don't show me my tablet's going dead. No, still good. Yes, a big yay for Louise. She, um, she has been a godsend, I can tell you right now, because I, um, I miss creating. So, um, my Pilot, this is the Pilot Pintor paint pen that I'm using. So, um, it is a highly pigmented paint pen, similar to a Posca. But um, I do believe that these have a bit more pigment in them than a Posca. So I'm I'm not white. I'm not wanting a full solid white. What I'm doing, oh you can see that coming up on camera, is is just lightly colouring those spots and making them stand out just a little. Okay. So there's a couple of thicknesses in these Pintor pens. Um, I love the uh, fine and the medium are the ones that I use the most. Um, and they're only five bucks, like seriously, only five bucks. Um, good range of colors. They've got pastel colors as well. Um, So just popping that little bit of colour in, stick down, damn it. And now I just need to think about what sort of title I'm going to have. All right, getting there. So I'm just going to see if I can find a little title out of these stamps that I've designed. So I've got this set here. What have I got in this one? This one says, make shit happen, work hard, stay humble. Good things come to those who hustle. That uh, doesn't really suit the page. Um... All right, I'm going to find something here. So when you buy my stamps, my the Natalie May scrapbooking stamps, they come as one big solid piece and you need to cut them down to size and the size that you like to work with. Um, just a bit of a tip, you do need to cut them lovely and close, okay? Don't be afraid to go close, but you'll find that that will give you the best finish um i'm just going to do a little tester here because i'm my brain's just too tired to read these upside down and i haven't um and i haven't got a a printout of what it looks like and i can't remember and i'm doing that really hard that's upside down as well <sighs> some days um, I do know that this set has got some of my favourite phrases on it. Um, in one of my favourite fonts. Alright, let me show you what this says. Alright, we've got... We all make choices, kind words cost nothing, be in love with your life, 
Live more, worry less, change your thoughts and you'll change the world. Trust the timing of your life. Keep life, keep life simple. Old ways won't open new doors. Um, what else have we got here? I'm going to be indecisive tonight. If I go inside, I have to fold washing and do domestic stuff, and that's boring as heck. I don't want to do that today. Let's see what these ones say. I need to keep these printed. Is it just three? Don't overthink. She had art on her mind. Art begins with a vision. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with we all make choices. Okay. That's going to be my stamp of choice. And what I'm going to do with that on my page Just make sure it's up the right way first because you know how that goes. And I probably should do this with a smaller stamp block, but I can't find it. Oh, no, here it is. That's better. All right. So I'm going to do some off stamping for my background. Um... So again, just going to stamp, make sure it's up the right way. And then I don't want it to be the hero. So I'm going to stamp here and then I'm going to stamp and shadow it out. Okay. So I'll bring it up to camera in a minute so you can see what I'm talking about. but definitely some of my favorite phrases. And I need to do this in a couple of different places around the page for balance. All right, so what I've done as you can see that that off stamping look so it kind of gives a shadow I can still read what it says and then I've got a bit down here and then a little bit down in there um, then I'm gonna crack out these babies does anybody have a set of these these are great Tim Holtz has done these in a couple of different um, fonts. And when you get them, they're not in alphabetical order. And that shoot me to tears. But I put them in alphabetical order. Oh, look, somebody else has used them since. That's frustrating. But they are little cling stamps. So when you have a little block like this, you can stamp individual words. And um, oh, that bit there is just not sticking. This will solve the problem. Now we're cooking with gas. Look at that. That's going nowhere. All right. Yes. Tiny attacher, babes. Get into it. All right. So um, these are fantastic because I can build up my sentence and I know what I want to say. And I want to say... So I've got, we all make choices. So 
I'm going to do the side your path but I'm only going to stamp the word decide okay that's going to be my keyword when I use these stamps I always 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 write the word out because spelling is not my first superpower where's the e Oh, get out of town. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A, B, C, D. Oh, here we go. So these have got a little slick back on them, so they just stick onto your um, block, just like that. And I work from the last letter and work back so that I know that it's going to fit. Um, stamp straight into my black ink. Do a little tester. Fabulous. Straight on. And I do it twice. And because it's a clear stamp, I can line it up and go straight over the top again. Super easy. So at this point, you need to remember a couple of things. We're using black archival ink. So this is going to come off on my fingers. Now, because my heat gun fell on the floor and probably died... I'm going to use a piece of scrap paper so that I don't, because I know I've got black ink on my fingers, right? So I'm going to make sure that I hold it down. I don't get any transfer. Um, so I need to do a A, B, C, D. I apologise if that's off camera. I need to get my head over it a little bit to be able to line it up. Or I could just stand up. You know what? That would be the smart thing to do. I don't laugh about me having that written there because... Oh, I've lost my dot. Because the fluffing around... And then all of a sudden you forget how to spell something and then you make a mistake and you can't take it back. These are really easy to line up for a second stamp as well, okay? And my little dot doesn't dick anymore so I'm just gonna finger dot it there we go he can go back in there so I don't lose it um, okay what do I want now I want to do a C C for cat because there's nothing worse than doing a whole page and then someone goes ah oh, that's not how you spell it because that's something that I would do. Um, and I usually just clean them off with a baby wipe when I'm finished. So this is my um, one of my favourite fonts for stamping. I love me a typewriter script. And you can use paint with these. You can use lots and lots and lots of different sort of inks as well. They stamp beautifully with oxides. You can hear me concentrating, can't you? All right. Pop these back because I don't want to lose them. 
Ari. So a thinner black pen, I'm just going to do a little scribble. Um, and I'm being really aware of the fact that it'll smudge because I haven't got a heat gun to dry it off handy. Um, and that's just because it's hit the floor. So some of these little areas that were a bit fuzzy from my stamping being a bit crap, that'll work really well just to get in there. And now, what did we just say? Decide your path. Decide, decide, decide your path, decide your fate, decide, what do we think? Anyone got any words I can? Hey, Karen. Um, decide your truth. Ooh. Right. Somebody write something in the comments. Give me a decision because I can't decide now. Decide your path. Destiny. I can't write destiny. Oh, decide your destiny. Oh, okay. I'll probably spell that wrong. Decide your destiny. Decide your... I don't know. Yes. Karen wins. Now I've got to choose my pen. Go to my 117 black pens that I've got here. That one. look at something and you write it and you're halfway through writing it and you go is that how it's actually spelt it is dest tiny done all right so i'm i'm actually pretty happy with that um, it's been a marathon effort, but <laughs> thanks, Carrie Ann. Um, but the whole point of tonight's little class is showing you a that you can use alcohol inks in your art journal and just showing you a different way of doing it. Um, the new alcohol inks are bloody amazing. I absolutely love them i i want to do i don't know what i want to do with that but that looks way cool and the other one i've got floating around here it is like that's amazing um so alcohol inks are just gorgeous really really nice and so so vibrant um i'm i'm really loving the how easy they are to use how um how pretty they are i think that i just have to do another one before i sign off um they have all settled to the bottom while they're just off camera here um julie has nailed it strength of color strength of color is exactly what is going on here so um which color do you need look i'm not going to tell you that um Thank you for staying till the end. I appreciate that, girls. Um, but yeah, look, I think that it is completely up to you if you need them or you don't need them. I'm not going to tell you anything otherwise. Um, it is, I, I do, I think they're great. I look forward to creating with them, mixing them with some of the other colours, um, like some of the, the plain or the metallics, popping some gold in there. If I had them handy, I would be cracking into that. Um, 
I do have them in stock at the moment. They all arrived yesterday and I have another shipment on the way which will be here on Monday or Tuesday. Um, you do need to put them on UPO paper. Don't forget that. They're not going to work on normal paper. They are not going to work properly at all on normal paper. They've got to be on UPO. Um, I did get the, the adhesive UPO in stock. So if you want to have a bit of a play with something a bit different, that's in stock. Um, so my background page here, what I did is I used Gesso. This is the Art by Marlene Loose Leaf Binder Journal that I have never used before until tonight. Um, I've got some wonderful friends who swear by it, so I need to try it and have a bit of a play. I love the size. It's certainly going to take a bit of time for me to get used to um, the loose leaf, definitely. Um, but that's okay. That's how we learn. That's how we try new things. And I am super keen to, to keep on playing in this journal. Um, I use Magicals on the background. Uh, Lindy's getting Magicals in a couple of colours. And what else did I do? Oh, some stamping with some of the Natalie May scrapbooking stamps that I've designed. Uh, they are there as well. Um, and then all of my alcohol ink backgrounds I've stamped using my stamp press to get nice sharp images and then use gel medium to stick them down onto my page. Um, so I will take a photo of it and, and put it up on the, on, on the book face thing on Facebook onto my page. Um, so there you go guys. Thank you for sticking with me. I do appreciate it. Um, and I'm going to, I probably won't do another live Facebook. I might do one next weekend from retreat. What do you reckon? Um, we might do a big group hello if, if the girls are keen. Um, I think that might be something that we might do. But yeah, there we go. Art journal page for tonight using Dina Wakeley Media stamps. The new... Um, oh shit, now I'm brain dead. New alcohol inks is what I'm trying to say. So if you need them in your life, jump on board to nataliemay.com.au. Um, all right, wash your hands, kiss your kids. Love you guys to death. You are champions. Um, love the shit out of you and I will catch you all soon. Thanks for sticking with me. Bye, guys.